Hello. Today's reading is from Acts chapter 5, verses 12 to 16. Let's hear God's word. Now many signs and wonders were regularly done among the people by the hands of the apostles, and they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared join them, but the people held them in high esteem. And more than ever, believers were added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats, that as Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on some of them. The people also gathered from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits, and they were all healed. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your word, and we pray you would bless it to us. And bless us, Lord, as we meditate upon your word in our time together. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, in this passage, we have the confirmation of the power of God. We've often perhaps heard the slogan, hope over fear, with many political factions claiming they have the hope while others have the fear. And here we see the wonderful hope that is there through the power of God. And the proof of the power was in the results, the miracles through the church. Remember, some of you might remember when Peter and John healed the lame man, there was a persecution came upon them after that. And they prayed for signs and wonders to do the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. And some of the answer to their prayers are seen here. Jesus had promised the Holy Spirit. Jesus had suffered death on the cross. Now he was risen and exalted. And so they prayed believing. God answered their prayer. The result of God's power being revealed was that the church was held in high esteem. There was many miracles, many signs and wonders, we are told in this first verse. And then we are shown what these miracles were. And the result of these miracles is that the people held the church in high esteem. It's also translated, the, the, they magnified. They were magnified. When the church has power, the world will notice the power. The world watches the church closely. The lives of believers had great influence on the people. It was true then, it's true today. Many were so affected that they brought their sick out that Peter's shadow might fall upon them. They believed that coming under the shadow of the apostle would heal them, even if he couldn't stop to pray for them. What a testimony to the power of God in the lives of the early church, the power of the Holy Spirit. Believers have an influence on all that are around us. We cast a shadow for good or bad, and we need to maintain a good testimony. Professing believers, Ananiah and Sapphira, cast a shadow of fear because of their sin. We read that in the first 11 verses of chapter 5. They were tempted by Satan, and they came under God's judgment for lying to the Holy Spirit. And great fear came on everyone. The apostles cast a shadow of hope. We are told that none of the rest dared join them. There is a distinction between those who are described as the rest and the people who held them in such high esteem. We don't know who the rest are for sure, but likely they were the powerful and great people who had worldly influence, which paled in the face of God's power. The great and mighty feared to join them after what happened to Ananias and Sapphira. That was probably the influence of that judgment. But the people, the ordinary people, 
magnified them. And the result was that multitudes believed. The believers were added to the Lord, both men and women, in spite of the satanic attacks on the church. The church grew stronger than ever. And the miracles were that the sick were healed. People had faith that the shadow of Peter would bring healing and unclean spirits were cast out. And we were told they were all healed. Not like so many of the self-promoted, self-claimed healers of the health, wealth and prosperity gospel. Friends, the psalmist has said, once God has spoken, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. Friends, today, the power and the wisdom of God is revealed in Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word. Bless it to us, Lord, and part us with your blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen.